On behalf of Tourism and Travel, I'd like to thank you for choosing us to be a part of your New Zealand experience. I'm here to introduce you to your new home. So hopefully, I'm able to answer any questions you may have. If not, get in touch with us through the provided contacts. To open the fuel cap, on the driver's side, you'll find a petrol engraved lever just above the gas pedal. To close, firmly push on the door. Reminder that your camper must be on full on return. This camper is an automatic transmission. To drive, turn the key and to change the gears, your foot must be on the brake. Please also remember to release the handbrake. When parking up, place the gear on park, pull the handbrake and turn off the ignition. Please ensure you have the keys on you at all times. Portable gas cooker. Turn knob to off and set canister lock lever to unlock. Open the canister cover and insert the canister aligning the notch with the locating guide. Push the canister lever to lock, turn knob on full blast until it clicks. This will ignite the flame. You can then adjust the flame control to your preference. To shut off, turn knob off. Ensure the flames are extinguished before raising the lever to unlock. Fresh water. The fresh water tank supplies water to the sink. Here we have a pumping station. In this camper, you will need to pump the water. To fill the water, collect the garden hose from the white plastic bag or the plastic container from the storage compartment. Connect one end of the hose to the water outlet and the other end to the dump station tap. You will see the overflow pouring out of the black tube. This is the indication that your water is full. Turn off the tap, close the valve and disconnect the hose. Remember to take the adapters with you. Grey water outlet. This tank collects the used sink water. To empty, collect the thicker hose that is stored in a black bag or in a plastic container from the storage compartment. Firstly remove the cap, then connect the hose to the grey water outlet. On most campers, you'll need to bring the two locking pins forward to lock the hose connection into place. Place the other end of the hose into the dump station. Release the lever and let gravity do the work. When you've completed draining your wastewater, close the lever, remove the hose and place the wastewater cap back into place. To use the toilet, press it once and it will slide forward. To activate the flush, water needs to be filled on the right side. During use, always pull the lower lever forward, pull, to open the waste hole. The left button operates the flush. To empty the toilet, fold the lower cover forward, remove the flush hose, and pull out the cassette.
The cassette can be emptied at any dump station. Afterward, reinsert the cassette and reconnect the hose. Use the provided toilet chemicals to control odors, just flush once, and the toilet is ready for use again. Double bed. To make a double bed, remove the pole and tabletop from the center of the camper. Sew the pole away and place a thick tabletop in between the seats, sitting on the thinner edges of the seats. Collect the bed extension boards located behind the passenger seat. Place the extension boards in between the seats, sitting on the thicker edges of the seats. Place the long, thin back cushions in the middle, like a puzzle piece. Complete your bed with the bedding and linen provided and you're all set for the night. So that's all from me. Once again, thank you for choosing us to be a part of your journey. And we hope you enjoy everything that New Zealand has to offer. Ka kite.